Well, here I am awake at 6.30 because more crazy stuff going on with this move. I've got somebody moving in today. <laughs> I've only been here a week. What happened was one of my friends from church, she's been struggling paying her rent and stuff. And so I asked her if she'd be interested in moving in here for cheaper. And she said, well, I got a lease till October, you know, October 1st, so. But if it's still open, then yeah. Well, then the other day I suggested, why don't you see if you what it would cost to get out of your lease? So she talked to the guy yesterday, and he's like, yeah, you can get out of your lease, but you have to leave by the end of the month. <laughs> I think what's going on is it's such crazy real estate going on here. People pouring into Texas because our economy is a lot better than a lot of other states and just a nice place to live. But anyway, you can't get apartments and they continually go up in price and you can't get houses and they continually go up in price. So I think what, what it was was he's like, well, if I get rid of her, I can jack up the price just the next person down the line because he probably has a waiting list. So one of my friend, good friends, been a friend most of my life. She's really concerned. She thinks I'm jumping into this too soon, but I don't know. I prayed about it. I've got peace about it. I think it'll be fine, but I didn't do a lot of due diligence. I didn't check her references or any of that stuff, but I do know her. It's, Figured it's better to have somebody, she's younger than me, but she does have grandkids, so probably 50s maybe? She's got young grandkids. Uh, but she's really energetic and she's like, oh, I love to paint and I love to do this and do that. And you know, so she's gonna be like um, a handyman around the house, I think you would say. <laughs> so anyway, she's, came by to get some boxes so she can get done packing some stuff and she's moving in today so that's crazy it's just one crazy thing after another but it's getting there look at over here can you see it i got a table and chairs up so i'm getting getting some furniture going <laughs> um oh and look at this let's see look who i found I found your friend the turtle who lives behind me usually. He is behind me, but the way I've got the camera, you can't see him. Let's see, he, there he is. I need to move the camera so you can see Mr. Turtle in the background. It's gonna be a short video. I just wanted to give you saga number 473 <laughs> of my moving. Everything's just like so fast. If I would have known she was moving in, there's things she's got that I wouldn't have probably bought, like trash cans and stuff like that, you know, but who knew? It's all so fast. But, you know, it's extra money for me. She's gonna pay me some money towards rent and half the utilities, so I won't be so tight because there's no way I did my budget like 50 times and there was just no way I could make it on my own unless I don't ever eat again and don't ever buy clothes again. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, her name's Kathy. You'll probably meet her. She's a fiery redhead. <laughs> She's got three grandkids that are little bitties, like three, five, and seven or something like that, that I said they could come over, you know, sometimes, but hopefully they're not over here all the time. But I'm sure she says they don't come over that often because they live nearby. She just goes over there. Um, so anyway, that's the news. Crazy, crazy. I don't even have any makeup on yet or nothing. Just put my hair in a ponytail to get it out of the way because I wanted to move the car so that she could get in there. She got some boxes and then she's got to go back and pack and then she's getting a moving truck and she'll be here for later this morning. So we'll see. She said she's going to paint the bedrooms tonight. I was going to paint them for whoever moved in, but she said she likes to paint. So I don't know. 
I don't know if she's gonna leave her furniture in the garage and paint and then move it another day or I don't know. She's, she's not gonna be around a lot. She works still and um, she's got this side job where she, it's called Rovers, the, the company, and I'm thinking about maybe doing it too. Why not get a little extra money? Um, you house sit for somebody's dog and you spend the night. You don't have to be there, like, you know, maybe go over once during the day and let him out or whatever. But um, I looked it up and I was looking at the people that do the sitting and they get anywhere depending on I guess, experience or I'm not sure what. Anywhere from 25 to $70 a night. So if you go in the middle, say $50 a night. So if you did that, Four nights a month, that's an extra couple hundred bucks, which can come in handy. <laughs> trying to see what that is right there. I thought it was a cloud, but I think it's just a glare on the window. <laughs> thought it was like a really low cloud, but I looked and it's not, so it must be a glare on the window. And I'm not sure what to do about these windows because there's a huge amount of windows in this house. I don't know if you can see all those windows and like that one's got a shade that one's got half a, sh a blind that one's got half a blind and then the rest of them have blinds so i'm either gonna have to get more blinds or shades or curtains or something because it lets in a lot of heat and cold uh, they're not they're double pane windows but they don't you know, they're really old, so they don't have the gas in between them anymore that helps cushion, keep out the, you know, I'm sure there's, they're not sealed well anymore and all that, so it lets in hot and cold, so you're, you're this is an all electric house, so it can get pretty pricey in the summertime with Texas, Texas heat, and it's already, Starting in April, we already had days at almost 100, so we're having a really hot summer, so my utilities could be sky high. So I am keeping it at, because I don't, I'm more of a cold natured person, so I don't mind a little heat. Uh, that may change when Kathy moves in, but I'm keeping the AC set at like 76 or 77, something like that, so I keep it set pretty high. A lot of people can keep it down at like 72, 69, whatever. Um, not me. I don't want to pay the bill. Plus I get cold easy and we've got ceiling fans all over this house. So if you get a little hot, turn on a ceiling fan. Every room's got a ceiling fan. So that's the adventure. I'm almost done. My bedroom needs painted and curtain put up. But other than that, it's done. Um, kitchen's done. Dining room, the dining table part's done, but I've got to put away all those boxes in the dining area. There's a bunch of like cubes that all that's going to go in. Hopefully it'll all fit <laughs> of all my craft junk. So um, still some unpacking to do, but it's getting there. It's only been a week. I found, um, let's see if you can see that. I don't know if you can see up that high. Uh, I might have to take you down. Let me take you down. Get you off of here. I gotta unscrew the thing. See, I put, found these and put them up on the mantle. They were on some shelves, but they don't have the shelves up yet. So they're on the fireplace mantle. I probably won't ever use the fireplace because it's a actual wood fire burning one. and. They're kind of a pain to light a fire and then to clean the ashes up and all that. So it's just going to be for looks probably. <laughs> well, anyway, that's it. That's my, my latest in my moving saga. Love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.